quick thought here, but uh, everybody knows that uh, psychopaths are con artists, okay, that they will put on a big show of being a businessman or a husband or this or that, and that it all turns out to have been a complete and total facade. And this is almost always, if not always, attributed to the psychopath's predilection for deceiving. It, it, is, uh, it is attributed to malice on his part, to a wish to deceive, maybe for financial gain or maybe simply because he likes to deceive. And uh, these are obviously factors, but they are, as I now realize, secondary factors. I've actually known many psychopaths. I mean, the, the term psychopath has a number of different meanings, a number of different related meanings, but uh, there are many different kinds of people fall within the scope of the term psychopath. Nonetheless, confining myself just to pure psychopaths, to not 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 to criminals, not to people who who uh, were marching to their own slightly defective drummer. I'm, I'm talking about just people who, in the strictest conceivable sense, were psychopaths. What I noticed, what I, what failed, what could not, what could not fail to strike me with incredible force was that they simply did not understand the distinction between the appearance and the reality. They simply did not. They did not understand that, they did not understand that uh, if people did a given thing, it was because there was some associated emotion with it. It was because it had a certain meaning. They simply didn't understand. They simply did not distinguish between the reality and the appearance. And they also, although by some narrow measures they were intelligent up to a point, their intelligence was incredibly one-dimensional, and a lot of that had to do with the fact that they abs that that this intelligence lacked all of the emotional concomitances of that that it, that uh, intelligence usually has. But I also think that it was actually just kind of uh, their intellects were actually just inherently feeble. I think that they were just missing so many parts that it's not really possible to say what the reason for their being only lacking intelligence was. In intel I think that we're missing so many parts that it's not really possible to pinpoint the cause of their lack of intelligence or their functional lack of intelligence. But but they simply didn't understand the distinction between the appearance and the reality. And I mean, they, they simply would not have the first idea of what was actually involved in being a husband or what was actually involved in, in uh, being a scholar. I mean, they could understand up to a point what was involved in doing business, but only up to a point and relative to how little they understood, it, it, they, there would be no basis, there would be no way for them to distinguish between what a, what a crook does and what a businessman does. So they were not good people, okay? They were in fact very bad people to the extent that it was within their power, to the extent that their limited range of understanding enabled them to actually grasp badness and to grasp moral codes enough for them to really violate them willfully, but um, it basically just had to do with, they, they, they were just, uh, they were like people who were not human and not really anything else, but who, who, uh, who ha had read a couple of textbooks on human behavior and were aping it. And, and uh, you know, then, then the incredibly obvious uh, kind of gaps in their performance were smoothed over. First of all, some people simply saw through them instantaneously, as I did. Most people did not, shockingly. But, um, but yes, they did quickly learn that. I think they they basically what they do is around uh, 80, 90 percent of the population does not see. Well, five percent of the population sees through them instantaneously. Um, the remaining 95 do not see through them instantaneously. Um, of that 95, there are 50 percent who will never see through them unless they turn out to be Ted Bundy, right? And they kind of focus on those people, and uh, these are peop limited people and also people with serious um, deficits themselves who who are suckers for flattery and things like that. And then there are a lot of them who are kind of half psychopaths themselves or quarter psychopaths themselves. And um, But anyway, but the point is that a lot of the psychopath proverbial deceptiveness and so on and so forth. I mean, it is, it is what it is alleged to be to a large extent. A lot of it just has to do with the incredible superficiality of his understanding.